Today we will learn about the claw hand. Claw hand. It is an anomaly of hand in which the metacarpophalangeal joint is hyperextended and the proximal interphalangeal joint is hyperflexed like this, like a beer of a hand of a beer. This is called claw hand. So, when we ask patient to make a fist, he can make a fist, but while displaying the finger, uh, while opening the fist, he will make a claw, claw of a beer in which there is hyper extension of MP joint and hyperflexion of PIP joint. This claw hand, it is of two type, that is partial and total. Partial, it occurs due to the ulnar nerve palsy, involvement of ulnar nerve, and in which, to, in total, the ulnar plus median. Now, we will come to the partial or ulnar nerve involvement. Ulnar nerve, it supplies in the arm, forearm, hand. This is cutaneous and this is motor supply. In the arm, there is no cutaneous and no motor. In the forearm, the cutaneous supply, I think the motor, the flexor carpi annulis and flexor deuterum profundus, but only medial half. In the hand, cutaneous supply, the medial half of palm and medial one and half of finger. Okay, and about the motor, there is hypothenar muscle. Hypothenar muscle that is flexor digiti minimi, abductor digiti minimi, opponent's digiti minimi, plus all palmar and dorsal interossei. Plus fourth and fifth, sorry, they are only four lumbricals. So, third and fourth lumbrical plus adductor policies. This is the motor supply of ulnar nerve in the hand. Okay, now. What happen if ulnar nerve get involved? These function, the sensory and the motor, will be hampered. Then what occur? Flexor carpi ulnaris, what it does? It get insert. Ye funda hota hai ki jidhar se bhi muscle pass kar raha hota hai, jis aspect se, wo uska action hota hai. The flexor carpi ulnaris kya kar raha hai? It get insert on the fifth metacarpal. फिफ्थ मेटाकार्पल में जाके सपोज दिस इज द दिस इज फर्स्ट मेटाकार्पल सेकंड थर्ड फोर्थ एंड फिफ्थ मेटाकार्पल सो यहां पे दिस इज द रिस्ट एंड दिस इज हियर अल्ना एंड हियर इज द रेडियस तो ये आके यहाँ पे सिर्फ रिस्ट जॉइंट क्रॉस कर रहा है फ्लेक्स का पाय अंदर रिस ओके फिफ्थ में तक आपल में जाके इंसर्ट हो रहा है दिस इस द ओनली द फ्लेक्सर ऑफ रिस्ट जॉइंट बट अदर मसल्स व्हिच इस पासिंग फ्रॉम हियर also does flexion so it will be it will not it will not be hampered because 
the axon is replaced by palmaris longus passes from here flexor caepa radialis flexor deuterum profundus lateral half is not affected so it is also passing from there and flexor deuterum superficialis all these are the flexor of wrist joint so this axon will be taken over by these muscles now second one is the flexor deuterum profundus medial half what it does it does again flexion of wrist joint this joint flexion of mp joint flexion of pip joint plus flexion of dip joint okay flexion of wrist joint flexion of mp joint flexion of pip joint flexion of dip joint of fourth and fifth finger because it's only medial half of the flexor deuterum profundus is affected so only i'm talking only about the fourth and fifth finger at this joint so we have already seen that the flexion of wrist joint is not hampered so it is replaced by all these muscles now flexion of mp joint it is taken over this action is taken over by flexor deuterum superficialis as it also pass flexor deuterum profundus is going to insert over the terminal phalanx and flexor deuterum superficialis in the middle finger making cauliflower like arrangement so it also passes from the metacarpophalangeal joint so action is taken over by the flexor deuterum superficialis again pip the action is taken over by flexor deuterum superficialis dip this will get hampered there will be no flexion of dip joint okay and flexor uh, mp joint this flexion is taken over by the flexor deuterum superficialis okay now coming to the hypothenar muscle these muscle get affected so there will be wasting of hypothenar muscles plus flexor digiti minimi as well as the abductor digiti minimi these are all paralyzed so there will be hyper extension the extensor muscle of the little finger get overpowered because all the extensors are supplied by the radial nerve so extensor get overpowered and there will be hyper extension of little finger and that is called wartenberg sign wartenberg sign okay now coming to the palmar and dorsal interossei what it does palmar pad and dab palmar interossei does adduction of finger adduction is what the crowding gathering of finger is adduction abduction is spreading or splaying of fingers is abduction so adduction not there so the patient will complain that we can't drink water directly from the water source the water will trickle in between the fingers it can't patient is not able to adduct the finger tightly so water will trickle down in between the finger patient will complain that i can't drink directly from water source through my hand and fingers now and abduction is also not possible abduction of finger so patient will complain that i can't measure measure we can measure things by measure length by fingers but patient will complain that i can't measure cloth or i can't measure um, the distance through 
our the spreading the of fingers due to the loss of abduction of finger so this will be and the third and fourth lumbrical and adductor pollicis adductor pollicis is uh, getting hampered so there will be abduction abduction of thumb adductor pollicis get supplied by the ulnar nerve so there will be abduction of thumb permanent abduction and as well as uh, so um, that will I will discuss in median nerve okay so there will be uh, hyper or yeah you can say permanent permanent abduction of thumb will be there and third and fourth lumbrical now what is the function of lumbrical it is also known as L muscle, L muscle, and the function is like L, that is the flexion of MP joint, extension of PIP, and extension of DIP joint. Flexion of MP, extension of PIP, and extension of DIP joint. Now flexion of MP joint it is not there due to the involvement of lumbrical muscle so we have seen that this flexion of MP due to the involvement of flexor deuterum profundus it is taken over by the flexor deuterum superficialis ek muscle ko ek muscle replace kar raha hai lekin sarhi muscle ko एक मसल रिप्लेस नहीं कर सकता नाउ दिस फ्लेक्शन मूवमेंट ऑफ एमपी ज्वाइंट इज गेटिंग हैम्पर्ड एंड एक्सटेंसर ऑफ एमपी ज्वाइंट बिकॉज ऑल एक्सटेंसन एक्सटेंसर आर सप्लाइड बाय द रेडियल नर्व सो एक्सटेंसर गेट ओवर पावर्ड एक्सटेंसर गेट ओवर पावर्ड देन व्हाट विल रिजल्ट हाइपर एक्सटेंसन ऑफ MP joint, which is the one criteria, first criteria of claw hand. Now, what next? The other action of lumbrical muscle is extension of PIP joint and extension of DIP joint. Extension of DIP is hampered. Okay, and extension of PIP is hampered. Both extension is hampered and both is getting flexed. PIP and DIP. But extension, this extension of DIP getting hampered. There is no extension. As well as what we we are seeing here, the DIP, the flexion of DIP, and as well as the extension of DIP due to the lumbrical involvement, both are neutralizing each other. Flexion of DIP getting hampered here due to the involvement of flexor deuterum profundus medial half, and the extension of dip is getting hampered of fourth and fifth finger due to the involvement of third and fourth lumbrical so they are neutralizing each other so dip will be in neutral position there is no hyperextension and hyperflexion and what is about the proximal interphalangeal joint pip there is no extension of PIP, but there is flexion of PIP because it is taken over by the flexor deuterum superficialis. But the extension is not there, so there will be 
this will get overpowered and there is hyperflexion of PIP. Now this is the second criteria. This is first and this is second criteria of being claw hand. There is hyperextension of MP's wind, first criteria. A second criteria is hyperflexion of PIP's wind. These two is fulfilled by making all the functions clear. And what happens if cutaneous supply will get hampered? There will be numbness in medial half of the palm and medial one and half of the finger. Okay, this is due to the result of claw hand. And this is, I am talking about the partial claw hand. And if in this case will occur in fourth and fifth finger. If in total whole of the finger will get become like a claw of a beard, then it is known as the total claw hand. Because in this median and ulnar both get involved. Only median nerve passi, it will not result into the, we are not talking about that type of claw hand. There is no such. Only ulnar and ulnar plus median. Okay. And when median nerve get involved in total claw hand, the only flexor of thumb, long flexor tendon, that is the flexor pollicis longus, it will get affected. And there will be the first metacarpal become in line. They will, it will come. Normally what happened in the normal hand, this is first metacarpal. Okay. There is separation. First metacarpal. Okay. There is separation. Then this is. One, two, three, one, two, three, like this. And if the flexor pollicis longus get affected in median nerve in moment, they this first metacarpal it will come in line with the other metacarpal, and this type of hand is known as simian palm. Okay, so this is about the claw hand. Now come to the Causes of claw hand, risk factor of claw hand, differential diagnosis of claw hand, and treatment of claw hand. This is why we will be able to do this. Bridge, bridge is a game of the task. Bridge, this is a game of the Bridge is a club. So, what is the red bird? CBI का DSP आ गया, ठीक है? तो club, this is CLUB club. This is the mnemonic for the causes of claw hand. Now C for congenital, L for leprosy. This is the most common cause of the claw hand. U is very much similar of W and this is wrist injury and B club that is severe burn of hand and forearm so we have completed cause of claw hand now come to the risk factor that is bridge B for BMI vessel metabolic index and sorry, body, oh sorry, body mass index. Uh, in case of lean and thin person, uh, there will be more risk of claw hand because the adipose tissue will be less. There will be less coarsening effect uh, of ulnar nerve behind the medial epicondyle. Okay, and that is the most common site of um, injury get uh, compressed over there against the medial epicondyle. So, the first will be body mass index, BMI. R, 
आर फॉर राइड दैट इन केस ऑफ साइक्लिस्ट एंड मोटर साइक्लिस्ट वन हु डज प्रोलॉन्ग साइक्लिंग एंड मोटर साइक्लिंग दैट विल बी मोर लाइबल टू अफेक्टेड बाई क्लो हैंड आई आई फॉर आयरन मैन दैट इज इन मेल इट इज मोर कॉमन especially young men then uh d sorry not so about the young men um, just memorize male okay d for desk work prolonged desk work g G G for grip, uh, in which the gripping of finger is essential, like a string grip, uh, in musician. Okay, now E E for extensive wrist work. Extensive wrist work. This, in these cases, the patient will be more vulnerable to claw hand. Now come to the CBI DSP. This is the differential diagnosis. C for कंजनाइटल कंट्रैक्ट कंजनाइटल तो कॉज हो गया सी फॉर कंजनाइटल या कैन बी कंजनाइटल कॉन्ट्रैक्चर ओके बी इज वेरी मच साउंड लाइक भी सो वॉल्कमैन इज सेमी कॉन्ट्रैक्चर आई आई फॉर इंट्रेंसिक मसल कॉन्ट्रैक्चर D for dupuytrene contracture, S for spastic hand, P for polyneuropathy. Okay, now come to the treatment. We ask patient to put a hand in dorsal ulnar position and does plaster cast of hand and forearm. plaster cast of hand and forearm in dorsal ulnar position by making flexion of wrist at 70 degree as well as the flexion of finger at 70 degree and keep in such position immobilization for 2 week and then we do thermoplasty in for Four week and then after we does exercise prescribe exercise what type of exercise making fist and is playing squeezing the ball uh, now lifting by finger uh, to make a strengthen and the intrinsic muscles of the hand uh, uh, and like these exercises and as well as the surgical repair. that is the nerve repair nerve decompression if uh, there is pressure over the nerve so nerve decompression will be there tendon repair <coughs> and as well as the flexor digitorum profundus tendon uh, tucking uh, and as well as uh, <coughs> extensor weakening there is hyper extension of ampizoin so extensor weakening these are the treatment of claw hand thank you